Okay, so on this question, we're going to rationalize the denominator. What that means is no more screws. Our problem is with this thing right here. So the rule is uh, no roots in the denominator. It's okay in the top, but we don't want them in the bottom. So what do we do? Um, so case one, um, if we have a root and no adding subtract, well, no adding, subtracting in the denominator. In that case, we just multiply by root over root. And then case two is if we have a root and adding and subtracting in the denominator, which is our case, right? That's what we have. We have a root and we have adding subtracting in the denominator. So what do we do in that case? Instead of just multiplying by the root, we've got to multiply by the number and then opposite sign the root over the same thing, number opposite sign root, like that. So in other words, I'm going to take this one and I'm going to multiply by the, um, I'm going to, and we're talking about the denominator, right? I'm going to take the denominator and I'm going to write the opposite sign in the middle. Top and bottom, that making sense. So you take whatever the denominator has, you use that whole thing, opposite sign in the middle. So three plus root five, I'm gonna write three minus root five over three minus root five. Like that. Just like that. All right, if this had been a minus to begin with, I would be doing plus over plus. You gotta do the same thing top and bottom because that way you don't change the fraction. You just change the way it looks, but you don't change its value. So whatever you have in the denominator, if you have a root and adding, subtracting in the denominator, you have to multiply by that whole denominator opposite sign in the middle. That, that has a name, it's called the conjugate. Whenever you do that, it's a kind of, if you're gonna go to higher math and science, they, they refer to it a lot. Anyway, let's do it. Okay, so how do we do it? Well, remember, there's two terms here. So, um, so for example, this four is going to go to both. Remember how, how we do, how we multiply two terms times two terms? They take turns. The first goes to both, and then the second goes to both. So let me um, have a, big, a lot of terms here. So the first to both, second to both. So four times three is 12. And then four times root five minus four root five, because that minus sign, in fact, let me, let me redo these minus signs are really on the root five, right? That's their negative sign. So when that four goes to the negative root five, it's negative four root five. And, and the four stays outside because he's an outsider and the five stays inside because he's an insider, right? Okay, and then let's keep going. Now, the, um, the root five goes there and then, and that's plus, Three root five, the three stays as an outsider, the five stays as an insider, minus root 25, right? Five times five. All right, and that one's done. See what I did? I took turns. The first went to both, second went to both. First to both, second to both, done on the top. Now it's time for the bottom. On the bottom, first to both, that'll be nine minus three root five, outsider stays outside, insider goes inside, and then this guy's turn. And that'll be plus three root five minus root 25. All right, we're getting there. All right, so now some good stuff will happen. Here we go. So, and down the 12, right here in the middle, 
these two are going to make negative one root five. Does that make sense? Because it's negative four root five plus three root five. Negative four root five plus three root five is negative one root five. Negative four plus three is negative one. And then minus, and then this is just five, right? Root of 25 is just five. You can just do the root and the root vanishes. Remember, whenever you square root a number, it vanishes at the root vanishes afterwards because the root does its job. It square roots the 25 and then, and then it vanishes. Okay. And then, then I'll bring down the nine. And then what happens here? These guys cancel. That's beautiful. That's why we did it, by the way. That's why we do the conjugate, which means opposite sign in the middle, because that way we get one minus and one plus, and then they uh, root roots, right? We want to get rid of the roots. Remember, the whole goal of this is we want no roots in the denominator. Well, that exactly gets rid of the roots from the denominator because you get one minus and one plus because you use the opposite sign. And so they cancel out. That's beautiful. And then minus five, this right here is five, right? This is getting squared 25 is just five. All right, we're getting really close now. So what does that leave us? Something good, I think. It's going to be 12, take away, I'm just going to combine those, 7 minus 1 root 5 on the top. 12 minus 5 just made 7. On the bottom, 9 minus 5 is 4. And that's it. We are done. We did it. What did we do? We got rid of the root from the bottom. There's no longer a root on the bottom, is there? And so there it is. So when you have a, we can't have roots in the denominator. When you have a root with no adding, subtracting, you just do root over root. But if you, you multiply by root over root. But if you have root and adding, subtracting, like we had, you got to use the whole denominator, opposite sign in the middle. And then you got to multiply on the top. That's first to both, second to both. And on the bottom, first to both, second to both. Outsiders with outsiders, insiders with insiders and combine all the like terms, and there we go.